Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ebin Jos. I am doing my primary DNB radiology at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. And today I'll be talking about the residency program here so that uh, you can make an informed decision. So uh, we'll be going through a checklist here. Um, first, academics. Academics is very strong here. We have uh, daily classes and we'll be covering all the topics in the curriculum. Uh, now about the training here. The training here is really good. We have a specialist in all super specialty branches of radiology like neuroradiology, women's imaging, musculoskeletal radiology, and you get to train under experts in all these three years. About ultrasound, as a PG here, you will have to take the history, do the complete scan, and write a portion report, following which our consultant will come and confirm these findings. So in a way, you can uh, correct your mistakes then and there. Now the spectrum of ultrasound and Doppler. Uh, ultrasound, we'll be doing uh, ultrasound abdomen, um, musculoskeletal ultrasounds like joint, muscle, nerve tracings, neurosonogram, women's imaging like TVS, sonograms, etc. Dopplers, we'll be doing everything from the neck to the toe like carotid Doppler, abdomen Doppler, peripheral arterial and venous Doppler. Now let's talk about uh, fetal medicine or obscans. So it is a separate department here and we don't get a daily exposure of cases. Uh, however, we have postings there in fine layer. So when I was taking radiology last year, even I was uh, pretty concerned about this fact. So if an institute has fetal medicine, it is definitely a plus. But if it doesn't have a daily exposure, it's not something you have to be worried about. Because um, fetal medicine is a part of ultrasound and ultrasound is one of the modalities we learn in radiology. So in these three years, if you're well trained in all the other modalities, um, this is obstetric scans or something you can pick up later. Now about uh, cross-sectional imaging, it is really good here and you get a, a great exposure and variety of cases. Uh, fluoroscopy, uh, as a first year, you will do all barium studies like barium meal, barium swallow, and then IVU, RGU, MCU, HSG, etc. And accommodation, it is not provided by the hospital. Now about uh, interventional radiology, uh, a lot of people inquired about this. Uh, it is a really nice department here and you get postings there in fine years. And uh, there are a few fellowships also after PG. Uh, now about the working hours, uh, daily it is nine to six and some days nine to eight. You will have duty every uh, fourth day or fifth day and every almost every alternate Sundays you will have a duty. Now about uh, department per se. Uh, the department is very supportive and uh, consultants and registrars are very friendly and eager to teach. And in fact, you can discuss any modalities with them anytime. So in total, I feel a Manipal Hospital is a really nice place to do your radiology training. And I hope I've given you a good insight. If you have any doubts, you can drop me a message. And uh, best of luck for your counseling. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.